Hey guys, my name is Dan, and this is about key tracking your parameters. So open yourself up a patcher, throw the plug in that makes the sound into there, in this case Citrus. Um, throw maybe an effects plugin in like EQ2. And in order to key track any of these parameters, you would go to the add plugin, go up to the controller, keyboard controller, select that. It's here, right click on it again, go to outputs, controllers, go down to note, and then it'll send out note uh, data to whatever other plugin that you wanna control parameters to. On that particular plugin, here's one of two ways you can just take the parameter and aim it at the whole plugin and then choose in this fashion, which uh, parameter you want to adjust. I think that'll work like that, right? Oh yeah, I already had it selected, so that's why I unselected it. Uh, band three frequency is the one that I had previously chose. Or if you want, you can click on it first, go to outputs, uh, or excuse me, inputs, uh, parameters. And then this way, you, if there's several different parameters that you want simultaneously adjusted by the, maybe the same keyboard controller or maybe uh, you have two or three keyboard controllers in there because um, you can set how they react to your keys differently. And then you, anyway, so it, those will show up as red dots and then you can, you connect them as you see fit. So now on here, uh, open up the keyboard controller by double clicking and there will be a range. This blue, uh, the blue note doesn't really seem to really matter much. I haven't found what, what it does by changing the, where the blue is. So don't worry about that for this tutorial. But the, basically the wider the range that you select, the more fine adjusted the parameters move or the keyboard notes will move the parameters. So in this case, uh, we'll go from C2 to C7, and before you click out of that, go to Auto Map, White and Black, go back to your plugin, and then this way you can see what it, how, it's, how it behaves. So I played a close range, a handful of notes. You go back, reduce that range significantly. Again, Auto Map, click it, go back. Same notes again. See, it's already moved up to, you know, as high as it could go. So, as you can see, it moved a lot farther in the frequency range. So, that's the deal with that. That's how you can key track your parameters using Fruity Keyboard Controller in Patcher. And... That's pretty much it for that. Um, if you guys subscribe, uh, I, us I occasionally will put out videos, and they're usually these type of videos where people don't really make videos about them, but they might be hard to figure out um, how to get going. It took me a little bit to figure it out. So since I couldn't find a video on YouTube that talked about it, Hello and welcome Whoops. back to another So you got, you know, like I typed in how to map uh, key tracking and it's just none of these videos, uh, you know, really go into it in a, in a, into a simple form. So uh, I thought I'd just uh, mention it real quick. And um, anyways, so there you go. Uh, you guys all have a good day.